Welcome everybody. Today in this video we are going to check a very easy and simple way to draw the structure of sperm, especially helpful for your examination. Right. So first we will just make a V shape upside down and a small V shape on top of it. Okay. <coughs> now. And after that, <coughs> we will just make this like, you know, this shape in the bottom. Just try to make it like W shape. You must have noticed that shape. Okay. And now, next is that we're going to go and make, we're going to make this into uh, two lines okay so we have, we have to draw like this all the way to make it dual lines and after that here just make a small part and then draw again another line set from there till the end and the second line just going all the way and taking the shape with a small turning at the top like this <sighs> all right guys so once we have done this now we have to do the other part of this making a small starting from there from the middle you must have noticed that and going all the way till the end just making that W shape and then bringing the other end also till here and once we reach we just make a small notch here and there we start the middle piece so this much if done now we are supposed to draw the plasma membrane okay so for that what shall we do let's start from here again from the notch okay let's go all the way and then cover from the other tape okay just be a little more thicker there and then all the way going like this till the other end okay now we're going to draw the middle piece for the middle piece let's draw a small circle in the middle <coughs> then we need to draw the vectorially arranged mitochondria so for that we'll draw just a you know basic shape one two three four five six seven eight okay till here then draw one mitochondria here another mitochondria third one fourth one fifth mitochondria sixth seventh eight Ninth, then connect them by using two lines like this. So this is the vectorial arrangement of mitochondria. And the other side we can just you know draw like this and join them on the other side of the vectorial arrangement. And through that, from here we are supposed to draw the extension which comes in between. You must have noticed this that is the flagellum's basal point hook and the tail so so that is going all the way like this and after reaching here it should merge to a point <coughs> and then two dots here and connect them once this much is done it's a time to draw till here 
okay and cover the same by the second layer okay so now almost the middle piece is done it's the time to draw the tail so for that first of all let it this line this middle center line the, I mean the inner line will stay there the outer line will just come to this tape and then we'll just make a bit more much more thinner shape like this for some length okay and then again become much more you know the thickness decrease and goes all the way like this so it's free hand drawing okay you have to draw like that guys and then evenly till this end we are going to draw it all the way like this evenly now <coughs> this this flagellas you know 9 plus 2 structure as you know that should take the line from here I should go all the way through the middle of this line without touching left or right okay and should end till here so let us carefully draw guys avoid this line touching the other two edges otherwise the, the symmetry of the diagram will be lost so all the way go like this and reach here so hopefully we have done complete structure now this is the nucleus and this is the acrosome as you know so to you know in order to shade the nucleus draw small you know spring like structures inside this okay by the way the tip here also we need to make one small like that and there also we need to put what the springs and you can then just spread it evenly all around we have done the structure of this sperm and now let's label so this is the acrosome right and this is the so you know that is the nucleus and this is the basal body okay let's go for this part this is the neck This is the vectorially arranged mitochondria. Mitochondrion, <coughs> as it is singular. And this part is the tail. So, and, uh, okay, one more thing is there, the outermost layer, you know, that we drew all the way till here. So that is the plasma membrane. So let us draw it here. So that's guys so how this is how we draw the structure of sperm hope you understood the process and the the you know specially given importance for the various size proportions okay so that's it draw and practice thank you for watching bye